Welcome back to Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to change the sharing permissions of your Google Drive using the Admin Console and a third party tool. First of all, to edit the sharing permissions in the Admin Console, you need to click on the gear on the top right of your screen and scroll down to Manage This Domain. After you click that, it'll direct you to the Admin Console, and in here you're going to want to click Apps, and then Google Apps, then Drive, and then click sharing settings. As you can see here, you can specify what the highest level of sharing you want for your users. From complete freedom to share outside of your organization to no freedom and not being able to share anything out of the organization. This is the option to make sure that, that nothing is shared out of the organization. But we're going to keep that on for now. And then click save changes. Here you can also see that for files owned by users in GuruVideos.com, they get warned when they share outside of GuruVideos.com. The problem with using the admin console for this is that it applies to my entire organization. So if I make these changes, it will apply to the highest level of employees as well as the lowest level of employees. So for example, if I have a group of interns, they'd have the same exact sharing policies as my highest level executives. So that doesn't give me much personalization with sharing options. To get a little more control over who could share what and to what extent, you need to use a third-party tool. The tool I'm going to show you is BetterCloud. So to get to BetterCloud, you're going to want to click on your app launcher and scroll down to your BetterCloud app and click on it. Once you're in the BetterCloud app, you're going to want to click on Google Apps and go over to Policies and click on Drive. As you can see here, I have two different organization units, Interns and Marketing, and I'd like to edit my Interns organization unit. As you can see here, there are a couple different categories. The first one is who is this policy for? So it could be for everyone, a domain, an OU, or a user. The conditions that are available are all of these here. So I click All Public. And then for my sharing settings, as you can see here, you can change your sharing settings, send messages, and a few other options. So I changed my sharing settings for all the interns to, my dom to their domain only. Also, for the scope, I clicked Scan All Files. So all the files that any intern has ever shared has, has been scanned. And I can also, also name this organization unit interns. So this, you can see here, this gives my interns not too much flexibility as far as what they can share publicly. So I click Save and Run. I'd, li I'd also like to change the sharing policy for myself. So I want to create a new sharing policy. So to do that, you need to click Create New. And who is this policy for? It's for a single user. And it's for myself, so I type in the guru. As far as conditions, my sharing settings would be all public. And for policy mode, I would like to click select to send a message of a drive policy report. And you could either send notifications about violations as they happen or combine notifications into a summary and send it daily. The reason I'm doing this is so every document that I share publicly, I'll get a notification about it. And I can check my scope for any day that I'd like and I will start that from August 9th and I'm going to name this policy Guru. After that I click Save and Run. So that's how you change sharing policies in bulk with a little bit more customization than the control panel gives you. If you, are, if you want to personalize your sharing policies at the organization unit level as well as the user level using a third-party tool like BetterCloud is a much better option than using the admin console itself. Thank you.